where the imam stands and leads the prayer. Um, because it's Ramadan, uh, people are coming before the fast opens for Maghrib, um, which Dua will talk about uh, a bit later on. And um, they, they just come a little bit earlier, so it's a bit busy downstairs. We thought we'd bring you upstairs. There are a couple of people here as well. During the last 10 nights of Ramadan, people come to the mosque. It's optional to do what's called iftigar. So you might have seen the signs downstairs. Essentially, they come optional as, as many nights as they want. Some come for 10 nights. So this area here, I think somebody I mentioned about the carpet, which I'll speak about in a minute. So we have over here, if everyone can see, it's called a metlab in Arabic. All that is is a little niche in the building. So it tells you which way you face when you pray. So all Muslims, when they um, pray, they face Saudi Arabia, um, Mecca in Saudi Arabia. So if you haven't been in the mosque before, so you may be traveling and you're driving past and you need to pray, you can easily identify without asking anyone by looking for the direction, the Qibla, um, which is the Metlab here. So if you went to a Muslim country, um, if those of you who've been to visit and the mosques there, they might have minibars, a special um, chair that the Imam sits on and stands on for the beginning of a sermon. So that's a traditional thing. So again, if you go and visit some mosques, you might find the minbars like a quite high number of steps, depending on the size of the mosque. Outside it's green. Um, if you look underneath, you feel free to have a look. Go underneath and have a look and take pictures if you want. We've got some Arabic writing. So Arabic is written from right to left. So where I'm pointing here, that's where the verse starts, it goes all the way round. And then the English translation goes all the way from that side where it says, in the name of Allah, the most gracious and most merciful. So this is the verse from the Quran that the Imam chose, and it's just been put on, on there. So the top is Arabic, to be nice and calm and peaceful as well when you come in. You don't want too many things, you know, you know surrounding you, you know, when, when you're trying to pray. So over here, very quickly, um, behind the, these screens, we have the um, Quran. We have Quran in different languages. Again, um Of course, you can't have a Ramadan festival without an iftar. 
And I have so many mosques to choose, and guess which one I chose? Pastry yeah. Mosque again. You know why? Because they're amazing. Not just because the food brought all. It's an amazing piece. But the wonderful work they do, and their team is amazing. So thank you so much. People don't realize how much hard work goes behind the scene. I've been talking to Dwar, I've been talking to Saida, I've been talking to Sandra. They've been busy setting all this up. There's a lot of work behind. So please, a big round of applause for our amazing people. So we are trying to get rid of barriers, having Muslims and non-Muslims get together. The third interest I have background in is education. I'm an educationist, a former officer inspector for 19 years, a teacher trainer, school teacher, college, whatever, many, many years. So when I set up the idea, I thought schools and colleges And just looking at the range of projects there, I think it's just wonderful the time, the energy, and the love and the care that you spread in, in the community is wonderful. And in a world that's not as peaceful as we like it to be, it's even more important that we share the values and we talk about values and good things we can do and connect up. So it has been a real pleasure to be part of MacFest and the Star. There was no way we couldn't not be part of the festival. But what was really obvious from year one was how much the staff and the students gained from being part. The learning that went on was fantastic. And I'm just in awe of the way it's grown and grown and grown. But that's meant that MacFest has reached more and more cities, communities, schools, and made people think and make people talk and help people to learn. Wonderful learning that's gone on. I've been to some of those events in other schools, and it's really quite special. And looking else can do that in the way that MacFest does. So it's been a pleasure to be involved, a pleasure to see it grow. And then it was a uh, WhatsApp message. Is it about October of last year? There wasn't much time before. Would you like to join us on a, um, a MacFest trip to Morocco? Which again was celebrating the art, history, culture, food, and music of Morocco. And um, I, I absolutely said yes, because I knew if Kesper was going, it was going to be good, the food would be good, and the company would be good. And um, I feel as though we made good friends on that trip. We shared ideas, we didn't stop talking, and a beautiful country. So I think the whole of that travel in growing horizons and getting people talking together as you see and appreciate other cultures in that way. It's just been life enhancing Keswell. So thank you. I know your personal commitment is fantastic, but if you haven't mentioned it, I'm going to mention the wonderful team as well. And how lovely it's been with the international dimension to talk with young people. We had a panel this time it was about climate change and the research that they've gone into it and more importantly their suggestions and constructive solutions that they could see just keeps us inspired and uh, hopeful, really hopeful for the, um, the future. So lovely to be here tonight. We feel really welcome, really warm. Looking forward to the food. And uh, just thank you for sharing with us tonight. Prophet, as the Lord of the world, the creator, the most merciful, the most kind, the sustainer, the giver, the taker, the all knower. So these are some of the attributes that we lay with God. Muslims believe in the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. Yes, uh, one? The prayers. The prayers, so what, one, the prayers. Anyone else? Are the decoration of faith two? I've heard we used to Mecca as well. Three. Sorry? Five in prayers. The love. The gap. Okay, very difficulties. Those that are travelling, uh, pregnant women and breastfeeding or menstruating women as well are exempt. So there are certain actions that will invalidate and break the fast as well, uh, such as intentionally eating, intentionally drinking, or intentionally. 
where it starts, just after nine o'clock, half past nine ish, it starts. Uh, that lasts for a couple of hours, and then it's a cycle repeated for the whole month. So, the suhoor, the, su the morning meal, it's eaten before dawn. Um, yes, there is a for healthy Muslims, and uh, you know, it's, it's, it's usually just before fasting starts, Ramadan starts, that um, a lot of Muslims will tend to do some research into how they can look after themselves physically. Uh, those that are unable to join in because they can't buy you know, uh, essential items for themselves, there's a cap, there's a cap of fitter that we give both to them directly so that they too can join in. And usually it's early morning prayers and then spending time with family as well. Praying, uh, uh, supplicating as well. And we also find it helps build uh, and strengthen the community spirit. So quickly, I'm just based on Facebook as well. Thank you very much. And I'm calling the whole hand so you can uh, break fast in our know, fast and get to all. Thank you. Thank you.